Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Nowruz, one of the most ancient holidays in Persian culture and celebrated every year on March 21st, coincided with the first day of spring in the Iranian calendar. Nowruz is the most important holiday in our culture, which is also celebrated in other countries. This holiday has several useful features. First is that two weeks are off during this holiday and it's a good time to recuperate and visit parents and grandparents and it starts on the first day of spring season. At the beginning of the new year, people set the table with decorating stuff which is called Haftsin. Some historians believe that Persians, for appreciating the bounties of nature, they chose to pick seven vegetables and fruits and each of them represents something that I will elaborate on them down the line. The oldest references that mentioned have seen are some scrolls from 8th and 9th centuries. In these references, it's stipulated that all decorating objects' names must be with the letter sin which has a sound equal to s in English language. Haft means seven, which was a sacred number among Sasani dynasty, therefore this number derived from that era. Let me tell you about all of these decorations and their meanings. Grass or sabze in Persian language represents rebirth and refreshment. This item heralds the rebirth of the earth during a spring season and people use it as a symbol of recuperation in the new year for themselves and their families and relatives. The green color of the grass is peaceful and creates a serene mood for visitors. Apple or sip in Persian language is a symbol of healthiness and beauty and people use apples to avoid any harm to their families. Samanu is a dish and made of wheat, is a symbol of blessing, abundance and power. Coin or seke in Persian language is a symbol of wealth and people use coins to hope for being affluent in the new year. Garlic or seer in Persian language is a symbol of generosity. Sea buckthorn or senjed in Persian language is a symbol of wisdom. People use this item to hope for a starting new year with perspicacity and shrewdness. Somak or Somak in native language reminds us of the redness of the sun at the dawn is a symbol of advent and restart. There are other items that are used as a complementary stuff to double down the beauty of this setting and some of them are a symbol of something. For example, mirror is a symbol of transparency and truthfulness. People use 
this item to hope for a starting new year with honesty. Fale Hafez is a book about fortune telling that is used and read at the table. Golden fish is a symbol of agility and dynamic that is used to hope for beginning the new year actively. Colorful eggs are symbol of diversity and rebirth. Candles are symbol of brightness and some people use candles to the number of their children. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.